Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna go to my in-laws balcony and we are gonna plant their balcony planters for summer. Um, their balcony is south facing, so sun all day long, which is the complete opposite to mine. My balcony is in the shade for most part of the day. There's only sun, as you can see, early in the morning, like right now. Uh, so we're gonna go to their balcony. Uh, I have already recorded several videos on their balcony. They are actually grouped into a playlist called Sunny Balcony. So if you are interested, you can check that out. Um, so I have to clean up their planters because they still have those three season planters that I planted in the fall. Then we are gonna go to the nursery. We are gonna check out some beautiful plants. I have no idea what I'm gonna plant yet. So we are gonna see on the place. Um, and then I'm gonna plant the composition and uh, I also need to bring all of my seedlings to the apartment because I'm gonna be traveling for one month. And usually I don't travel all that long at this time of year. So I don't ever bother anyone like to take care of my plants. Uh, so this is a very exceptional situation. I can't leave my seedlings on their own for one month because they will surely die. So I have to pack up all of my seedlings and bring it to their apartment. So yeah, let's do this, let's go. Okay, you guys, we are on their balcony. It is super sunny out here. As I said, it's a south facing balcony sound all day long. So we just came back from the nursery. I'm going to show you what plant we bought and also how the balcony looks before and then obviously after planting. Okay, so here is how the balcony looks. I'm going to start in this corner. Here we have two Fotinias. Fotinias are amazing plants, amazing windbreak if you have very windy balcony. Uh, they serve as a windbreak, they uh, create a privacy screen because they have evergreen foliage and they are in bloom now and they are covered in bees. There are bees everywhere. Um, on the railing here, the three season planters I planted in the fall. There's a um, there are three evergreen, there are three um, perennial plants, evergreen perennial plants, in them. So I might keep them, uh, but I think I will take them on my balcony because they don't want to keep it in here, um, and they have smaller balcony. Here in this corner we have jasmine, rose, foxgloves, Erigion, Karvinsky, and on the floor, and mix of daffodils and tulips. I planted all of this. I mean most of this. Uh, the foxgloves I grew from seeds. And bulbs I planted earlier and a region carving skin this is a plant that I grew on my balcony last year but on my balcony it didn't flower well though I propagated it and gave them one plant and it's already blooming and it's looking amazing because a region likes sunny spots so it's thriving in here so later on we are gonna plant the seedlings flower seedlings that I brought uh, so in this pot and in this pot and in the two pots at the back I have cosmos, I have zinnias, so I'm gonna plant them in here once all of these flowers are done. Okay, so now I have to clean all these planters to remove all these flowers and to fill them with fresh soil and then we can plant the new composition. So let's do this. And here are the plants that we bought. I know the sun is really bright, so it's hard to see. Uh, so we have million bells. Uh, they are on the f on the camera. They look really orange, but in real life they are more yellow, uh, yellow uh, with a little bit darker veining. Uh, we have lantana, orange lantana. Lantana is also amazing plant for full sun. And we have a red petunias. They are red, um, kind of like dark magenta with yellow centers. I think that's gonna be a really beautiful mix. I tried to convince them to buy some trailing plant, more like a foliage trailing plant, but they didn't want, they wanted the planters to be filled with flowers, so no foliage, just flowers. So that's what we went with. I'm gonna be mixing compost with multi-purpose potting mix. Uh, it's kind of a professional blend, as it says, it's for um, I mean, it's for flowers. I think it's pre-fertilized as well. Uh, that's not something that I use on my balcony. On my balcony, I usually go for just a multi-purpose potting mix, the light mix by Playground that I usually use. Uh, but this one is great as well. 
So by adding compost to your potting mix, not only create a really beautiful structure of your potting mix, so well aerated structure that allows water to pass through, but at the same time compost uh, helps to retain moisture in the soil, so obviously on the south facing balcony in the heat of summer, uh, soil dries out pretty quickly, so compost helps to retain moisture, so you will need to water less often. Uh, it also provides slow release nutrients to your plants, so it's really great to add compost or any source of organic matter uh, to mix it with your potting mix at the planting time. Before planting I always place pots with flowers on top of soil and I create the arrangement, I place the plants uh, the way I want them to be planted eventually uh, and if I'm satisfied with the composition then I start to plant. I mean this way at this stage you can still change things up if you don't like the way plants are placed, you know, you can always move them and see what you prefer because once they are planted it's too late so Okay you guys, so everything is done, is planted, the floor is clean, I just need to water the plants now, but I'm really happy ha with how this, these planters turned out. My parents-in-law kind of chose the colors that they wanted and I just helped them uh, choose plants that would look good together um, and that would grow well together, but I think that we did a pretty great job. I really like how it turned out uh, and can't, can't wait to give you some updates in a few weeks time once the plants start to grow, once the plants start to fill in, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!